Uh, just a little update on my uh, room. I'll show you what I did. For the first time, I'm using, well, not first time, bullnose. I use bullnose all the time. And then zip strip for the clean edge. But anyway, I've always stapled when I first started doing it. And this time, and then I used the double-sided tape. That's what I've been using for years. And I used glue this time. Here, I'll show you what glue I used. 3M, uh, 3M corner bead, 61 adhesive. Comes a little purple can. I sprayed the drywall. Then I sprayed the bull nose and the zip strip and the end pieces. Here, I'll show you what I did down here. You don't have to do that. In the kitchen, I just used bull nose all the way down and I just cut and made the turn with the uh, baseboard, but I'm doing it different this way. Saw those at, uh, they're right there. I uh, got those at Lowe's. They were sitting there, they were only a couple bucks, so I was like, why not? And then the corner strips, they had those too. The corners, usually I just cut a 45 in the bulldoze and meet it. But I saw those and thought, why not try them? Never used those before. See? And then you just spray the drywall, spray the bull nose or the corner or the zip strip, and then just uh, wait one minute and then just stick them on and see they're tight. I mean, I just put this one on just a little tacky. But it said wait 30 minutes before you uh, mud. So I guess stapling might be a little faster, but I've always had a problem with the staples. If I didn't get them in far enough when I'm mudding, there'll be a staple sticking out a little bit. So I got to pull it out or re-staple it. So I just I just saw this and thought I'd have to tell everyone, I love this, never used glue before. Been doing this my whole life, remodeling. And I'm amazed. Learn something every day. You'd think I'd know this already, but I don't. So I just thought I'd show everyone. That's it. I'm going to get back to work. See ya.